dead. Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another performance review. And as you can see by the title, today we are reviewing the Westbrook Why Not Ones. No, 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 it's the Westbrook Why Not 0.1s. What, so this is 0.1 of the shoe? Yeah. So you're saying his first shoe is 0.1 instead of 1? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. So, the Why Not 0.1s, this is a very, very hard shoe to get our hands on. But shout out to the guys over at ProDirect Basketball for sending these over. If it weren't for you guys, the performance review might still not be out, to be honest with you. This shoe was super hard to get in the UK. So thank you very much for sending them over. So one of the most exciting players in the league and one of the most highly anticipated shoe this season, Russell Westbrook is of course the triple-double king. I think he just hit 100 triple doubles, so congratulations to Russell. But we wanted to get these on the court, so we couldn't be more excited to share our opinions and thoughts with you guys finally. So straight off the bat, aesthetically, this shoe is obviously inspired by Westbrook and his, his fashion sense, I guess. Mm -hmm. Russell Westbrook, if you don't know, is a fashion guru in the NBA. Outlandish. One of the fashionistas in the league, I guess. And this shoe is different. He's different. It's very different to what we've seen from other performance yeah, shoes. Different's a good word. Different's a good word. Um, well, I don't know how else I can describe what I think the shoe looks like. Um, um, permission to speak freely to me. Permission granted. The shoe is ugly, man. <laughs> the shoe is so <laughs> oh my <God>. ugly. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. What was he thinking? <laughs> Listen, I'm not hating Westbrook at all. Fantastic player. One of my favorite players in the league. When I heard he was getting a shoe, I was incredibly excited because the way he plays is something that I try and emulate when I'm oh, playing. But aesthetically, I was not pleased with, with this shoe at all. It doesn't look as bad when you have them on foot. True. But the way they look, me personally, I'm not too happy. But pushing the way the shoe looks to the side, the shoe retails for 115 pounds. And for what you get in the shoe, oh, yeah. that is pretty decent. It's not bad. Pretty decent. Obviously, in hand, what we have here is the All-Star colorway. But on Proderate Basketball, if you check out their website, we'll have the link in the description below. There's actually the bread colorway available as well, which is flames. Which is clean. Which is flamed. Even though the shoe doesn't look that great, the colorway In a bread colorway. In a bread colorway? I go get back, go get yeah, back. Yeah, the, the, the job's done. Go get back, go get back, go get back, go get back. Go get back. So of course, whenever we're talking about a signature shoe, we're also talking about a couple key call-outs that pay homage to the player themselves. So inside the shoe, underneath your heel, you'll see RRS, which stands for Reynard, his brother, Russell, his father, and Shannon, his mother. Beneath that, you'll see KB3, which stands for Kelsey Bars, who was Russell's childhood friend who sadly passed away before Russell entered the league. Then beneath that, you'll see RNN, which actually stands for Russell himself, Nina, his wife, and Noah, his newborn son. So his call out is really all about his family and how important they are to him and his success. So, with all of that being said, let's get straight into it. So, straight off the bat, the number one thing that we both loved in this shoe was the cushion. The cushion in this shoe was absolutely fantastic. Full length zoom, Full you length. can never go wrong to me. Full length. You can Come never on. go wrong. Tell the good people how good the shoe was, man. Full length zoom gives you everything you need when it comes to being an explosive, quick player just like Russell. We're talking cuts, twists, jumping, exploding here, there, everywhere, twisted. I said twisting twice, but that's just how it goes. Full length zoom gives you just that. And it comes out so well in this shoe with a cord out final on midsole, which means you're stepping on nothing but full length zoom. So. Bad it's, boy, really. it's fantastic stuff. And for him to get full length zoom in his first signature shoe, I ain't calling out nobody else in the Nike shoe game who has yeah. their own signature well, shoe, uh, Gary. But um, <laughs> certain men should have full length zoom in their shoes as well, do you know what I'm saying? Somehow this guy gets it done. Shots fired, shots fired, agent down. With all that being said, it's actually deceivingly comfortable as well. We spoke about aesthetics in the beginning, but with full length zoom, with that Phylon carrier, very, very comfortable on the foot. Deceiving. Oh, I question. said deceivingly comfortable. Bad boy word. I see you, bro. I see me too. You've been reading them books, yeah? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, Flo, what are you saying? Scott, have a score. Give me a number. Four plus five. Nine. That's, that's, some, that's some good maths. Straight up. Nine out of ten. It's not perfection. No. That's, that's but tough. it's bloody close to it perfection. Close. So, nine out of ten. 
let's move on. So moving on into our next favorite part of the shoe, the traction. So here we have a modified herringbone crisscross pattern, which has individual nodes, which actually help with that adaptive bite when it comes to traction. Felt really, really good on your clean and your mildly dusty quartz, so it held up amazingly well. Not so much on dusty quartz, which is to be expected because dust makes everything skates, but that's just how it goes. Yep. So really, really good. Really, really enjoyed playing in it. I'm messing with it for sure. It's one of those traction patterns I think that always just gets the job done. On dusty quartz, all you gotta do is wipe the traction every other play and you'll be good to go. So traction in the shoe, I think was very good. So when we're talking outdoors play, the compound used on the Westbrook, especially the solid rubber, is quite hard. So you could probably be okay getting outdoors with them. Of course, because they're individual nodes, yes, they will wear down. So it may just be a case of how long will you be okay in them. So taking everything into consideration to me, what do you think the traction is out of 10? I'm gonna give it a nice seven. Seven? I'm gonna give it above That's average seven. That's sure. a strong seven. It's good, very good seven. So moving on into our next favorite part, talking about support. Now, there's probably a few things on this shoe you can probably notice that maybe jump out at you. I don't know if it's obvious, but it might, I don't know. The heel cam is one of the most distinctive parts of the shoe. It does its job very well along with the padding as well, which is great for your Achilles. Also holds your heel in place the way it needs to, especially when you're getting that kind of explosion from the rest of the shoe. We also have an ankle strap, which locks your ankle in place. Making this noise for. So you do it again. We also have an <laughs> As well, we also have an ankle strap which obviously holds the ankle in place, which does get quite annoying in the way when you're lacing up the shoe, but you get over it pretty quick. And last, of course, you have the shape of the shoe, which gives you that really nice outrigger for that lateral support when you are cutting, stepping back, twisting, turning, playing defense. So the support in the shoe was good. Yeah. For Westbrook's first signature shoe, the support in the shoe got the job done. It wasn't phenomenal, but it still does what it needs to do. So with that being said, the support comes in with a humble seven. Seven. Ain't nothing wrong with a seven. Nothing wrong with a seven. Job done. Well, there's a few things wrong with a seven, like three things, but yeah, seven. Now, next up, we have the fitting and materials, and both these things obviously work hand in hand, mm. and it's a bit of a weird one. We're gonna go with fit first, yeah. and then we'll explain why it's a weird one, I guess. Now, the fit of the shoe was good. Obviously, the way the shoe's constructed, it's a one-size-fits-all kind of yeah. shoe. Now, initially, my foot was hurting to me. Yeah. You could see from the yeah, first thing. But once the shoe broke in, it was fine. It was pretty good actually, yeah, I'd, it I'd was. say. It was. And the fit was very, very good actually. But obviously a couple of things let the fit down. The first thing I didn't like was putting the shoe on was a nightmare. <laughs> it was tough, bro. That was, tough. was tough. I don't know what it is, I think my toes are wide. So them trying to go in, initially it's tough, bro. It's so tough. But apart from that, once the shoe breaks in, I don't think it matters if you have a wide foot or a narrow foot. I think yeah. the shoe accommodates to all types of feet. So whatever size you usually get, I'd suggest getting that oh, size. Yeah. So taking all those things into consideration, the fit in the shoe comes in again at a humble seven. I personally would have preferred to have a lacing system in the shoe. True. So you can adjust the laces, I, I guess, that, I and that. end the fit, but I'm not hating it too tough. But yeah, Humble 7 is good. So last and fully least, fully, the materials. Yes. Let's get into this. All we have in this shoe is mesh, all right? Covered by a wham piece of fused mesh. Fat piece of fused mesh. Wham! It's, it's ridiculous. Two pieces, in fact. There's one massive piece here and another piece up here. Yep. Now, it works in some shoes, yep. especially in smaller amounts, but with this much, it's tough. It's very tough. So when we saw the first images of the shoe, the shoe looked very, very heavy. Yeah. When you get them in hand, it wasn't the case. The fuse mesh did the trick, making the shoe lighter. Same applies with the heel counter as well, which yep. as bulky as it looks, is actually just foam, does the trick and ensures that the weight of the shoe wasn't sacrificed. The problem with that is, those fused meshes still take a lot of time to break in, it's which is mad. It's 2018, bro. 2008, I thought we left that in 2017. Why are we still breaking shoes in? In 2018? I mean... Breaking shoes in? I don't... That's all I, mad. I don't know. I don't know. Leave that. Yeah, Leave man. that in 2017, bro. With all that being said, the very worst part about the materials was everything going on up here. My poor ankles were getting cut to shreds because of how it's been cut and how really sharp these edges are. He uh, said to shreds, it's, it's not that peak. It's peak. It's not that peak. He said cut to shreds like his, <laughs> like his ninja turtles. Like his shredder, shredder <laughs> of ninja turtles. Look, look. It, does, it does cutting, it does digging. 
Shredded, bro. Timmy might be exaggerating a little Shredded. bit. A little bit. But you it said does make you? I said <laughs> I didn't even clock <laughs> it. You said I straight up from Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it does cut in a little bit. But it you don't notice it after you play a little bit. After you ah, swear bro. and your heart rate goes up and adrenaline takes over and you don't feel pain as much. It takes breaking in, like we said, and it might take a little bit longer for this angle part. So for that being said, for that reason, I'm going to give it a six. Okay. It's, yeah, a six is fine. A six is good. It's average. A six is good. It's just this let the shoe down a little bit. It could have been, it could have been a little higher if, we, if there was no cutting. Yeah. Fair? Fair. Cool. Exaggerating. <laughs> Shit cut like hell. So overall, what we have in the Westbrook 0 0.1 it's full length zoom. This is fantastic to get mm. in the first signature shoe. So I'm very, very happy with that. Yeah. The traction also did its thing. The support did its thing. Exactly. The fit of the shoe was brilliant as well. It was just let down by this ankle strap, which dug into your foot a little bit. And these 2017 materials. A little bit. And the materials as well, which take a bit of breaking in. But all in all, I think the shoe did the thing. And for a first signature shoe to get full length zoom, mm. that's amazing stuff. So overall, the shoe came in at a 7.2 out of 10. That is some great stuff. That's a good first shoe. It's a very good first so shoe. So we hope that going forward, the Westbrook 0.2, sorry before I said that wrong. And that to me doesn't make sense. I thought it should be Westbrook 2, but hey, do your thing, man. We hope that the 0.2 comes in at a much nicer shoe and I'm obviously looking forward to the 0.3. And when eventually we get to a one, which in this case would be 10. His 10th shoe, which should be the 10, but we will call the one. Yeah, you've lost me. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you've lost me. Yeah, you've lost me. So, all right, guys, there you have it. But before we go, another big thank you to Pro Direct for sending these through. We know they were difficult to get. Sorry about it taking so long, but it's here and we hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, if you need your pair, just hit the link down below. Pro Direct will take care of you. The bread colorway is on there chilling, so go cop because it is the ting safe so all right guys as always don't forget to like this video and show us some support like you guys already have keep hitting that like button it really helps us out a lot and we really really appreciate it and of course comment down below if you're feeling the brand new westbrook 0.1 if you'll be getting a pair for yourself what did you like what didn't you like so on and so forth we'd love to hear it and as always don't forget to follow boys on instagram and twitter Instagram is at purekicks.ig and Twitter is at purekicks underscore TW. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell to be the first to know whenever we drop anything new from Pure Kicks. So there you have it. This is the Westbrook 0.1. This is Pure Kicks. Let's get it.